Hello everybody, welcome back to Teach Me to Science, and today we're going to be talking about polarity. So first we're going to be talking about what polarity is, and then we're going to be talking about how polarity and intermolecular forces work together. And if you're a little bit rusty on your intermolecular forces, please review this video I've got linked above. And last but not least, we're going to be talking about the rule, like dissolves like. So a molecule is considered polar when it has a significant difference in electronegativity between its atoms. Just a reminder, electronegativity is how much an atom attracts electrons to itself. Now, ionic bonds are not the only types of bonds that can be polar. Covalent bonds can also be polar or nonpolar. And just remember that an ionic bond is a stealing of electrons which creates charges on both of the atoms involved, while a covalent bond is a sharing of electrons, and the only way it can be polar is if a temporary dipole moment is created, and we're talking about that here in a second. So a dipole moment is when there's a temporary shift in the distribution of electrons that creates partial positives and partial negatives on a covalently bonded molecule. As you can see here, when covalently bonded molecules develop dipoles, they can orient themselves so they have a dipole-dipole interaction, which is a type of intermolecular force. This is only possible because of the temporary polarity of the molecule. Remember, in the case of a dipole moment, the polarity is temporary. However, based on structure, some covalent compounds can have permanent polarity, such as water molecules. When placing a solid in a liquid or a liquid in a liquid, whether they mix is determined by the polarity of the substances. In this case, the polar solid will dissolve in the polar liquid, while the nonpolar solid will not. This is because polar substances will interact with each other, while a polar and a nonpolar substance will not. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on polarity. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe to Teach Me to Science for more content like this. Thank you for watching. Bye!